two attacks because he's cool like that, but he misses again. Again, with your sword, you just parry the blows, continuing your mastery of combat that you've been showing to everyone this this day. I feel like he's cheating. <laughs> uh, you're the one who's been deflecting the blows. Um, uh, it's Shira next. Crass? Uh, sorry. I was looking at the phone, but I couldn't call him. <laughs> of course. Makes sense. I look at this guy, and I'm gonna again cast some more vicious mockery. I'm gonna go. When you see my face, hope it gives you hell. Hope it gives you hell. When I walk, when we fall into your door, hope it gives you hell. Hope it gives you hell. That's the song to him. Nice. Is that a vicious mockery or a vicious mockery? Vicious okay. Mockery. Remind me what I have to do for that. You have to roll a. I'm looking up so many songs today. There's the songs I have not heard in ages, too. <laughs> uh, you need to roll a wisdom saving throw or take 1d4 psychic damage and have 17, of which I believe will nope, be a pass. Beat me. You beat me. Yep. Okay. Did you do uh, anything else? I'm gonna sing some inspiration. Oh, yeah. Who are you gonna I'm inspire? Gonna sing. I'm gonna sing. How many to, inspirations uh, do you have for long rest? I can tell they're just a bonus action. Oh, you have you a set a amount. amount. Oh, really? Okay, then I'm not. I didn't. I didn't know where it was. Uh, was. It will I'm say in the player's handbook. Uh, nice trick. Would you mind looking that up for us? I'm already on it. Because you oh, might cool. be able to do three of them before rest. That's entirely within the realm of feasibility. I just want to double check. I thought it was just a bonus action that I could do as much as I wanted to. Haha. <laughs> feature number of times equal to your charisma modifier. Oh, cool. Well, my charisma modifier is three. So, so this is your last one. use. Alright, well, so who, who am you I going to inspire? Who wants to be inspired? Anybody? You, you do? Alright. I'm going to inspire Nystrick here. Alright, Celeste. I'm going to look at her and I'm going to go. We're going we're gonna to sing a song about this goblin guy. Alright, are you ready for this? Oh, we're fighting tonight. You know these goblins are gonna die. We're gonna kill these guys. It's gonna go well. It's gonna be swell. You're gonna use your thunderclap spell. That's my song. I like nice. it. Okay, you are, Celeste, you are fully inspired. And as it happens, it is your turn. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm going to, if I'm standing behind... Cryus, am I unable to really get a good view on the goblin? You can, or... you can, you can see him and you can shoot through allies, which is a beautiful okay. d mechanic. Yes. Um, okay, so then I will use... <sighs> okay, I don't want to use Thunder Wave because I did that and it'll hurt Cryus and I don't want to hurt Cryus. So I will actually... I'll do the same thing I've always done. Uh, and I guess I'll do Lightning Lure, which will pull him towards Cryus. He's already at Cryus. So you're gonna knock him will... into Cryus. Will that knock Cryus over? I guess I don't under I don't know if that's how that uh... would work. It doesn't specify what happens when I pull it into objects as well. Let's just say that they collide in a banner. <sighs> okay, maybe I don't wanna do that then. So then I'll walk around um, to the side of, sure. of Cryus. And you can try to use my booming blade again. Okay, so that involves making an attack roll. You have AC 17 to beat. He has chain shirt and a shield. Ooh. So guess who's not gonna hit him? Oh god. I'm not. If I'm not correct, you have to roll a natural 19 or 20, don't you? So there's a 10% chance. I don't think he did it. What did we roll? What did we roll? Is it a one? Is it a two? Oh. Uh -huh. Isn't that about to be a zero after It lines up number. Oh my god. Oh, zero. Oh, I thought you were doing two and then zero. It was like, holy shit! But no, 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 no. It winds up being this. But the two, it's two. Yeah. Until the so, modifier. So you reach for your quarter slash, you just smash it over his head, but realize that you didn't actually grip the quarter staff, and you're just swinging oh, air no. at him. And you look down at your hands, and then back at your quarter staff, and down at your hands, 
and back at your quarterstaff or your shoulder and back again and then just kind of look the goblin boss in the face and he smirks at you. Okay, so I'm gonna take that time to go, okay, never mind, and take one nice giant step back behind Cryos. Uh, that will what provoke an attack of our new- uh, provoke- Oh, no, it will? He's not- he's focused on me? Okay, then, uh, I guess- Well, if you yeah. move out of five feet from him, he gets an attack of opportunity. That's how opportunity attacks uh, work. Okay. Then I guess I will hang out. Yep. Okay. You're gonna get back. You are literally- Card? Okay, what I'm going to do- I'm sorry. What I'm going to do- Yeah. I'm gonna use- I- I- so I have a- a thing, because I'm a- uh, storm sorcerer. Yes. When I go to cast a spell, I can choose. Um... Oh, cantrips don't count. Never mind. Okay. I'm standing there. Never mind. Cool. I... Car. I... You are up to the plate, buddy. All right. So it looks like I'm. Have a bardic inspiration move? Should I use that? I could have. I still would have missed. So it's not worth it. I didn't want to waste it. Got it. So, is it possible for me to charge screaming at this goblin right now? So, there's a paladin between you and the goblin. You could walk around him, but that would kind of defeat the whole charging thing. Mm, I mean, if you want to just bum rush both of them... I don't know, I'm feel bum rushing both of them could work out really well or really horrifically, depending on what kind I mean, of Cyrus makes afterwards. This is, this is a question I have for you. What would Karn do? WWKD. Okay, in this case, Karn would very clearly grip his warhammer with both hands, hold it over his head, and run screaming at the top of his lungs directly okay. at the goblin. Uh, okay, so, Grat, I'm gonna... Sorry, Christ, I'm gonna make, let you make a dex saving throw to see if you can nimbly step out of the way of this charging alcoholic Good. dwarf. Who's in his old age, he's just gone senile, he's just raging at everything, who is trying to be a barbarian for some reason. I rolled a 10, my dexterity is 11. That is, like that is enough, that is enough. Oh, is it? Oh, it is enough, so you make a sidestep, <laughs> you charge into this goblin boss, uh, you are purple I believe, uh, so uh, you're just smacking him with the warhammer, or are you pushing him? Or... I'm gonna try to smack him with the warhammer, and I'm holding it with both hands, so I believe okay. if I successfully hit him, it's a d10. Yes it is, so roll to hit. I rolled a hit, that's uh... D20 plus strength modifier, right? Plus proficiency. Strength and proficiency, I should say. Yeah, that it is. Alright, what do you Come on, come on. Ooh, 20 after modifiers. Yes, that's nice. totally a hit. Okay, so that's then I roll a, a D10, D10 plus, plus strength. D10 plus strength only. I roll a seven. Seven damages. You make a hearty blow against him, which he definitely feels. That he is, uh, he's not shaken by the blow. Just bruised. Right, so he, he just felt it. He didn't actually yeah. take any serious damage. Yeah. Like, it was a solid blow, but, like, he's not down by any means. Okay. So I'm going right. to stand there grumbling at him. Mm-hmm. Got this. After right. Karn, it is Cryus. Back to the Oh yeah, I get to try and hit him again. I believe in you. One, five, six, six, six. Well yeah, with a six modifier, you'd think I'd hit him all the time, but evidently dice hate me. Twenty-two. <laughs> uh, no, that's I, that's that's a that's a damn fine hit. Yeah, and so that'll be a D ten plus uh murder murder. Where's this thing out here? Ten. Ten damage. Nice. So you slice and dice this guy. And he suddenly, despite managing the blow from Karn, that long sword, two huge rivets of blood appear across his chest, dripping down. He has a very sorry state indeed. Right, awesome. Well Next played, time. sir! Says Jompy. Nice. Oh, fuck, I could have done that thing and really blasted his bitch ass. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh, next is the goblin boss, which is going to attack the clear and present danger, which is, uh, Cryus at this moment in time. Uh, so he gets to make two attacks. The first one misses, the second one also misses. You just keep, like, Cryus, you're fucking badass today, dude. 
And I got like no hit points left. It's pretty good. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I got some, but not much. I'm hurting. Okay. Uh, after Goblin Boss, it is uh, Shira. All right. Well, I had a plan, and I look at everybody, and I wink, and I said, I say, <laughs> I was going to seduce this guy if we failed attacking him, because I figured that would at least work for something. But looks like I won't need to sacrifice my womanly wiles today. So instead, I'm going to whip out my beautiful crossbow again, put my loot back on my back, and whip yeah. out the crossbow again. This is the crossbow. Yeah. I say, Kanye West, it's time for you to do some damage. And I aim it at this guy, very close range, so it shouldn't hit, surely, unless I'm totally a failure. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll uh, to see if I hit, right? Yep. Totally. That's going to be uh, d20 plus dex modifier plus proficiency. I got a 10 plus 2 plus 2, so 14. 14 does not hit. It just digs oh, into his chain Kanye. shirt and he failure. snaps it off. Oh. Kanye is indeed a failure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, after Sure <laughs> Denier, whose hips have never lied, it is Celeste. I'm gonna try the same damn thing and just pray. Okay, you you got it. You just got ten percent chance to hit. I would say what could go wrong, but I mean, a lot of things can go wrong. I think we've seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, did, did you roll another one? I swear no. to God. Oh. Oh. oh my God! You rolled a one. Natural one. Okay. Oh. Here's how this is gonna work. You're gonna roll a d20. If you roll a 10 or less, you accidentally hit Cryus. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, oh no. God. Can I use my inspiration to not hit Cryus? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so could I roll it with this d20 if I get lower than 10? Yeah, so instead of okay. using the okay. Bardic Inspiration to add, you can use it to minus all of that. Happen. Okay, so I'm going to do 9 and then add the Bardic Inspiration, which yeah. is a 6. Cool. Which is a 3. So 9 plus 3. Okay, so so you just swing and you barely swish past uh, Cryus's head. Oh, okay. Sorry, not the best at this staff yet. Still, Pratt, maybe I'll just put it and Stop just using keep it. it and just keep staff still breaking it in. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Leave it in the cave. No. <laughs> yeah. okay. You it almost killed Save the world, it. leave it here. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I will. I will. Just stand there, dejected. Okay. Okay. After Celeste, it is Karn once again. Hmm. See. Alright, so the, na the natural state would be to continue praying that this whole two-handed warhammer swinging thing can keep up. So I, I hit him well once, gonna go in for another swing. Sure. See if you could totally finish him off with this blow if you manage to land. Right. I'm gonna go in for the desperate now. It's uh, proficiency plus strength. Yep. So... I roll a 22. Total hit, dude. Just All right. Smack so him now square we... in the face. And we roll the d10 plus modifiers. Yep. D10 plus strength. All right. D10 plus strength comes out to a six. So there's a tradition on critical roll I know, made by Matt Mercis, which is, how do you want to do this? So I'm gonna let you describe how you kill this goblin leader with your warhammer. Alright, so I assume that there is this kind of table thing in the center of the room here, is that, is that correct? Bad yeah, it's like press. a big desk thing. Alright, presumably the loot is behind him? Yeah, it's behind the desk. Alright, are there any are there any blades or sharp objects hidden amongst the loot by any chance? Uh, a couple. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna connect the hammer directly with his face. He's gonna go flying backwards across the bed, slam into the wall, and then fall down into the pile of loot, impaling himself on any sharp oh, objects. Oh, Jesus! Wow! Oh, yeah, he is that's dead. That's he that's is amazing. gone. He is extremely he is dead. He's he's, gone. he's dead as dead can be, and I combat may have is over. Some blood in the loot, and I'm sorry for that. Yeah, yeah, there's there's blood and guts and entrails dripping all over. What you uh? Might have Fantastic. Had. I am sorry. Um, Combat's done. I would, actually, I would actually like to look to see if there are any like papers or notes or anything kind of explaining why he's looking for people, what he's doing with us. I'd like to investigate the loot. 
Okay, so investigate the papers. Let's make a uh, investigation check for, for Celeste looking at the papers. Uh, we'll get to um, uh, Shira in a moment. Um, it's a.